All right, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're excited to talk with Carolyn with SDG&E, and I'll introduce her in a second. Um, and we're welcoming you to our Employed Family Caregiver webinar series through Elder Help. So Elder Help's mission is to provide personalized services and information that help seniors remain independent and live with dignity in their own homes. So we provide a lot of different services and supports for older adults who are still out in the community, um, who are wanting to stay in their own home and continue to uh, remain independent, but maybe are starting to need a little bit of assistance to do so, and that's where we come in. And this program, where we host webinars through, is uh, called the Employed Family Caregiver Support Program. And we developed this program a few years ago because many of the calls that we get for resources come from family members who are worried about their aging loved ones and looking for resources to help out. So we have created a program uh, where we offer on-site presentations and workshops at local businesses and corporations. So if that's something of interest to your place of employment, um, feel free to let us know and we'd be happy to come out and talk about uh, family caregiving and a lot of different aspects involved with that. Uh, we also participate in a variety of employee health and wellness expos or volunteer expos. So if there's anything happening through your company um, that invites exhibitors to participate, we'd be happy to, to be a part of that. Um, these webinars, they currently happen on a monthly basis and we cover a variety of topics. Um, today we're excited to have a guest speaker join us, so we will have guest speakers and we will also have information and education around family caregiving um, over the course of the year. We have also developed five online courses that are accessible at any time of the day. They're all free. Um, you can link to them through Elder Help's website and they walk people through uh, the journey of being a family caregiver. So I encourage you to take a look at that. Um, last month's webinar, we had a, a little overview and a taste of those courses. So if you joined in for that, hopefully you checked out the courses and um, found some useful tools for you. All right, so today we are here to talk about the wonderful opportunities through San Diego Gas and Electric. Um, Elder Help is a proud partner of the Energy Solutions, and uh, we are excited to be able to share more resources with our community um, to let you know how to save energy and stay cool in San Diego. So I welcome Carolyn Ortiz with San Diego Gas and Electric, and she is the Outreach Advisor, and we're excited to hear what you have to say. Thank you, Carrie. Good morning, all. So I'm just gonna go over a few of our programs that might be beneficial to you, especially at a time of use that everybody should have gotten some information on and defaulted into the time of use, and I'll go over some of that, which is our big thing going on now. So um, it's time to talk about energy differently, and all the other, um, Years we used to just do um, tiers where we'd start with the one tier and when you used up that electricity to go to the higher tier, which would be more money to the highest tier, which would be the most. So we're doing it differently. It's a statewide campaign called Time of Use and each of you should have been defaulted into the time of use or it will be to the end of the year. Um, you'll be receiving things in the mail showing what to do and um, how you take care of it and which one you want to get on. We're, we're giving you a choices now where in the past we did. So um, we have more options. SDG is offering more pricing plans options than ever before. You're able to select a plan that um, works for you the best. Um, it, it, time of use provides customers with more choice and control over their electricity bills. The state wants to ensure greater power reliability and a better energy future. And um, time of use, um, I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, it, uh, time of use also eases the grid when everybody powers up at night. Um, we'll have more electricity if everybody conserves between the hours we're asking you from four to nine. So we'll go over that. Um, so things to factor into your energy costs. When you use energy really does matter. The cost of electricity will vary based on the time of day and seasons in which the electricity is used. 
and time of use offers lower electricity pricing when energy demand is high and costs increase when demand is high. Time of use gives customers more choice and control. You can save by conserving or shifting usage. And that's where we're asking you guys, if you're on the time of use, um, basic that we're, we're defaulting everybody on, between 4 and 9 p.m., we're asking you to please conserve electricity. Just shift your electric. Um, just shift your habits the way you did it before. It's not that hard. Um, 4 o'clock, you might want to come home, and um, it's, it's not the TV and, you know, the making dinner that's going to make your bill go higher. It's the um, air conditioning and the washer and dryer and the dishwasher and the things that are your big users. So we're asking you to please conserve between 4 and 9 p.m. In this on-peak time, it's, if, if you're not conserving and you have that electricity um, on everything where the um, air conditioning is blaring and you got the dishwasher going, your bill will be high because it's, out, it's on the on-peak, 4 to 9. So if you can do your load of um, dishes at 9, 9.01, if you can do your um, your clothes washing in the morning or if after nine, it would really help in um, lowering your bill. And um, if you're not, if you're the type that is home and need to do all that at one time, please get on sdgne.com of time of use and see if another plan works for you better. So, um, like I said, you have the power to do different plans. You don't have to do what the, uh, you don't have to do the time of use at work um, default. You could call and change it. So I would recommend if you think you don't benefit with the four to nine, get on and price off of the different plans and see if one works better for you. Um, over time, renewable energy has changed uses patterns. With more renewable en energy online, California's on peak has shifted from four to nine, where before it was two till um, two to five. This is when the sun goes down and renewable energy production drops. Sifting, shifting usage off-peak helps ensure greater power reliability. Now, uh, as you know, as SDG &E, there's a lot of solar customers now. And what happens is, like I said, it's statewide. What happens is when it gets dark, everybody plugs into the grid, right? Because everybody's solar getting their um, electricity from the sun. So this is making it harder and harder to ensure we're going to have dependable electric electricity at this time. So this is why we're asking you to please ship so we will have greater power reliability at the times when the solar customers plug in. And, and starting next year, um, at the end of this year, we are asking every new home being built does have solar on it. So can you imagine now how many more are going to be plugging into the grid when the sun goes down? And um, in in when it um, starts cooling down, it won't be as hard. I know there's a lot of you that have that depend on your air conditioner. We're asking that maybe you can turn your air conditioning on in the morning or before you get home. If you have the smart um, meter, you can control it yourself and get that going. Then just shut it off at four o'clock and maybe use fans. It would really help. Um, like I said, the time of use it's Monday through Friday, and there's a super off peak, which would be two a.m. in the morning to six a.m. That's basically when everybody's sleeping. So if you could do your laundry at that time, it would be a great savings. Um, Off-peak is um, 6 till 4. And then 4 to 9, like I said, is the on-peak where you really need to conserve. And then once again, from 9 to 12 a.m., it would be off-peak. You can do your uh, big appliances at that time and have a lower rate. So um, transitioning to time of use, like I said, most of you probably are already on it. And if you haven't called and you want to, you have a one-risk, no um, price, one year no risk pricing. Meaning you can try time of use risk free up for one year. Meaning if you get on it and you realize, wow, this is I'm spending more being on this time of use plan. You can go back to the standard plan and they will credit you the difference. You have a year no risk. So your bill will provide a monthly update on how you are doing on time of use. You can switch back to the standard plan or choose another available plan. So basically, it's telling you if you do get on this plan. Uh, and you, after a year, you said this is not working. You can go back and not get penalized, and we will um, we will credit you the difference. So it's a win-win because -win either way, you can get back off. It. And um, so this the level I pay plan is a wonderful um, plan. I've been on it, and it really helps somebody um, when when you have budgets where you you have a certain amount of money to live on a month, and you said I can't spend more than let's say a hundred dollars, but fifty dollars on my gas and electric bill. What the Level Eight payment plan does, it looks at your history, and every three months, your bill is going to be exactly the same. So, for instance, um, my bill in the summers 
I don't have air conditioning and I use very little in the summer. Uh, where the winters, I do use my heater. So it, it'll level it out. So basically my bill is no more, I, I've asked you to let me know, I asked them to let me know no more than $100 a month. And it will, they'll tell you if you're going up so you can serve, conserve. But basically your bill stays the same every three months and then it will adjust if you're using more or less down for three months. So if you are on a budget where a lot of us are, it's a wonderful, wonderful plan to get on. And I would recommend you get on scgna.com level pay plan and see if this works for you because it really keeps your monthly payment um, exactly where you want it. And you won't see the huge fluctuations if you are using air conditioning or heater. And it's based on a historical usage from before. So. Um, it's it's a great plan for people that are on budgets, as many of us are. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Like I said, I love it. So another one I hope you all are on is my account and energy. Um, my, my account is you can get on sdgenie.com slash my account. It will bring you to a portal where you can do a sign in. It's like an online banking for gas and electric. Um, I, and I'm sure a lot of you do online banking where you give one password and a username and you just log in. So when you get on my account, get your password and log in, it will bring you up to my account. This is a wonderful tool. It will do anything that's in the back of your bill. With everybody's smart meters, it's energy. Uh, you can see what you're using uh, every hour. You can see on time what your usage is, which is great with these smart meters. So my account will show you, um, you can do an energy audit of your own where you can put in the, your home's um, address and then how many refrigerators you have and just do your whole thing and it will bring you a pie and show you exactly what your energy use, you use the most energy of. Now mine was um, my water, hot water. So I don't use my dishwasher anymore. I try to limit my baths and try to take quick showers and it has dropped considerably. Where my um, coworker stopped using her, I mean, got a new um, pool pump. Her pool pump was using $250 a month of her electric bill. So she got an energy efficient pool pump and dropped it. So you can get on here and figure out what is used. If your bill is high, you want to figure out why, it will show you what you're using the most of. It will, each each week I get a um, bang on my text and my uh, emails, and it'll show me my usage of last week, the whole week of last week. So it's no surprise when you get your bill, if you're seeing on your usage that you're way up, like, Sundays and Saturdays, mine's way higher because we're home all day. It will show you a compare, a, all a week at what it was. So you can drop, let's say it's really high and you're going to go, I don't want to go over my $100, what I allowed that I wanted to do before I get, say, somebody's texting me saying you're going over. Um, you're going to know. So you're not real surprised when that bill comes and it's super high or it's not super high. You're going to know where you're at. It will compare you against your neighbors. I'm sure a lot of you have gotten in the mail that you're using more or less than your neighbors. Um, it'll show you there. It'll show you that you're at 50 percent of what most neighbors are, or you're at 100 percent. You're going way over most neighbors. So it's it's a very interesting um, tool, and you can I pay my bill on this. Um, I get alerts. Um, it 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 just tells you everything on this account. So I would recommend everybody today, if they're not on it, to get on my account because it is a wonderful tool in learning about your bill. So the SDG mobile app, um, I have it on your phone. It's a smartphone. You just go to your um, apps, download sdgd.com. I pay my bill. It takes two seconds to pay your bill. If your gas and electric, if your uh, electric's off, and everybody says, well, when I get on my computer, it's no electricity. How do I know how long this power is just going to last? You can do it on your phone, and they will tell you. It's a, it's a great thing. Uh, it'll give you a cost calculator, bill alerts. Um, marketplace, San Diego Marketplace, My Energy, and like I said, the outage map. So you can check your usage. You can do everything on your app. And like we all probably, a lot of us do have um, smartphones, so it's a really good thing to get on this one. Notifications. Okay, so this is another thing I'm just showing you. If you, want. Um, it, you can receive alerts and notifications throughout the month regarding your bill and energy usage. And this is what I told you about. They'll alert me if I'm going too high. You can alert, you can select the alert and subscriptions tab, select alerts, and select the alerts you wish to receive. So it's all in uh, my account. So once you get into that, you'll see all the tabs. So I'm going to go into the customer assistance and payment solutions on um, ways that will help you save and manage your bill. And I think this is a, a few different programs that is important for those who are 
caring for an aging loved one or you have um, your aging loved ones living in the community and um, might be able to benefit from some of these solutions. Now that we're excited to hear about these. So the first one is uh, a lot of people are aware of, it's called the CARE program, California Alternative Rates for Energy. This is a PUC mandated program statewide and you can receive 30% off your bill if you qualify. It is an income qualified program or if anybody in your home is on any, uh, we'll have the um, forms if they want to know, anybody is on, um, let's say you're raising a grandchild that's on Medicaid or um, National School Lunch Program, but you make more than it says you can make to qualify for this, you would be automatic qualified. So if somebody in your home has any, you can look on um, CARE and look and see if anybody in your home is qualified either by um, income or by um, the programs. Great program. Um, we It's like a needle, needle in the haystack now. We're, we're hoping you guys can get out there since you're out in the field. And if you see a senior that looks like they need help and um, they're, they're having trouble paying their bill, um, get them on this program if they qualify because it's, it's a big savings. That's wonderful. And the care qualifications are, um, so you're on it. You, you're on it for two years and they recertify you, meaning um, after two years they're going to send you a note saying, could you please fill this out to make sure you still qualify for this program. Because this program is, um, if you were to lose your job yesterday, you could start today. It doesn't matter what you made in the past. It's income forward. So you could even be on it for a couple of months. But if you are having a hard time and you qualify for this program, it's, it's a wonderful program. Um, so the medical baseline allowance program, this is not income qualified. This is uh, money that you can save that if you are plugging in anything that's using a medical device, you have an average savings of $33, not percent a month off your bill. So um, the higher energy baseline, they give you a higher baseline basically where you can use more before it will go into the higher amount. For customers with cer certain medical needs, and the device is listed um, on sdg &E and what qualifies for medical baseline. Um, it's no income qualifications, and it does require a doctor's certification. So basically, you download this application, the doctor fills it out, and you submit it, and it will start giving you this $33 a month off your bill. And you can be on this, the CARE program, so you see the more programs you are, the more you can save on that bill. And if you do not see, uh, um, one of your medical needs on the website, I would just suggest you still have the doctor fill it out and they will um, say yes or no when the kid, it gets there. Because they can't put everything on there, but the majority of it is on the certificate, on the qualifications. That's great. So this is another energy, um, energy income qualified. If you qualify for care, you're gonna qualify for the Energy Savings Assistant Program. What this is, it's income qualified. It will go into your home you do not have to own the home. You can be a renter. We just need the owner's permission for us to come in and do the measures. Um, we don't have many owners that don't want this done because it does really improve their homes. It will repair or replace insulation, weather stripping, all sorts of things. Each home is going to be different from what area you live in the climate zone. It will replace appliances. It will replace your lighting, replace doors and windows if they're broken. Like I said, insulate, weather stripping, caulking, it does all sorts of things. So um, if your home has problems where you turn that air conditioning on and you feel no relief because it's going up cracked windows, under doors, no insulation, and you qualify for this, please give them a call or sdg.com slash ESA, ESA. They will come out, assess your home, and it is going to take a little while. It's not... It, it's not an overnight thing, but they will get this done. And if anything, they will replace your um, shower heads and the lights if you don't already have the low energy. So it, it's a great program. And like I said, it's great for people that can't afford to do upkeep on their house. We will come in and do it. And this is another statewide program that's mandated by the QC. So I would hope everybody would look into this if they're having problems. It's wonderful. And I'll include all of the links that Carolyn's uh, mentioning uh, when I send out the recorded version of the webinar so you have that at your fingertips. So that would be great. So I'm going to touch on gatekeeper and third party notifications. Okay. The gatekeeper program provides employees with the channel to refer seniors to social service agencies for assistance. The third party notification, elderly or 
are in turn who are in danger of being disconnected from non-payment or impacted by an outage. So basically, um, if my mother cannot pay her bill and she forgets to pay her bill, you, she could have me be her third party. Well, they will call me. I will pay her bill. Um, if, if you're forgetful, I mean, even anybody can be on this program. If you just kind of forget to pay your bill, we will inform you if it's about to be shut off or if you're late for payment. Gatekeeper will, um, they, they will, if somebody sees something out there, they will send somebody there to make sure that that um, person is okay in their home. So these are two other program services. Yes. Um, neighbor to Neighbor is another program that helps customers with experience temporary financial hardships. So what this does is provides bill assistance up to $100, $150 per household per year. Or if you are a medical baseline, life support customers, you can receive up to $300 a year. And this is administered by um, 211. So if you um, if you always can pay your bill and you, you never have problems paying bills but something happened where the next month you couldn't, we will, neighbor neighbor will come in and pay you a bill. So it, it's a great program. Like I said, call 211 because they do all these programs as well, as, as well as um, elder home. So SDG Marketplace, we launched a couple years ago, probably three or four years ago, and it started on a little website where we just had a few things on there showing energy efficient um, appliances. So people that don't want to go out shopping for a new washing machine, for a new dryer, for a major appliance, um, they can get on my account, SDG Marketplace, which is more than appliances now, it literally has hundreds of things. Get on there and purchase it right there. Don't have to go into the shop and buy it. Uh, and they, if it is on a, um, it will show you if it's um, a rebate. It will rebate, and the rebate will come to you. So it's it's crazily faster than having to fill. Out. I don't know if anybody's ever filled out a rebate. It does take a while. It will do it right there for you. So um, they deliver. So people that are in the market for large appliance or anything, get on um, SDG Marketplace and shop around. It's wonderful, and they will show the ones that are on rebate as well. And um, like I said, this is um, a robust shopping tool for customers. 23 product product categories and over 8,000 products. Products. Gosh, I was way off. Um, popular categories: thermostats, clothes washers, refrigerators. And SCG will follow up with customers who did not um, who stated but did not finish the rebate. So we will call you if you did not finish. And there's all sorts of um, rebates right now. Just if you're in the market for anything, please check the rebates before you buy anything, even if you don't do it on marketplace. So the cool zones. Um, the cool zones is are open from May 29th until October 31st. And every summer um, between this time, uh, the County of Aging and Independent Services and SDG &E open cool zones for seniors, people with special needs, and general public to go escape the midday summer heat and reduce their air conditioning usage. Cool zones are set up in all locations, to the, a lot of locations um, that are open to the public. So I recommend you get on, um, Sheila will send you the link. Click on that and it will show you, you click on the little bear and it will show exactly a cool zone in your neighborhood. They are open only the hours that the um, senior center or the library or whatever is open, it is open those hours. So please take advantage of that, get out of the house, don't keep your air conditioning on and go to the air conditioning places. So that's a really good tool too. And this is something that we've definitely seen with our clients that it's been beneficial because a lot of people may not have air conditioning right. and we've already seen the heat um, creeping up and we're mid-July now, so we're going to see it continue to increase. So this is a great yeah. spot to check out and see where you can go or where your loved ones can go to beat the heat in the summer. Right. It's wonderful. And that is basically <laughs> it. Um, wow. Thank you for listening and if you need anything, ask Carrie and I can get it to you. That was a wealth of information. Thank you, Carolyn. That I feel like I've learned something. I always learn something new when yeah. I when I hear from SDG and me. But great tips for all of us to share. Um, I will send the recorded version, so feel free to pass it along to your family members or friends so that they can learn all of the ways to save energy and uh, reduce their costs as well. This is great information. So thank, thank you, you for being thank you for a speaker. Speak. <laughs> of course. Um, before we go, I do have a couple of save the dates for our next two webinars. Um, I do want you to make note of the time 
um, and the date because typically they're on the third Thursday, but for the next two months, they're going to be a little bit different. So um, take note of that if you want to be on the live version. I encourage all of you to do so. Um, Thursday, August 22nd, we are excited to have Scott Perillo, who is the Deputy District Attorney, um, the head of the Elder Abuse Prosecutions in San Diego County District Attorney's Office. So that will be a very um, full and wonderful presentation um, covering a lot of different topics that are all relevant to us. And then Thursday, September 12th, uh, we will have a special guest speaker, uh, Dr. Physical Therapy, Kim Bell, um, who will be speaking on dizziness and vertigo, uh, which is a topic that is, um, I think, important for everybody to be familiar with and to understand because whether it's yourself or your loved one, a lot of us have experienced dizziness and or vertigo. So it'll be a good one to tune into as well. Um, if you have any general information that you would like to receive from us or any questions, here is the contact information. Uh, the info at elderhelpofsandiego.org is our general email address. Uh, if you're interested in family caregiving resources specifically, um, you can email corporate relations. It's corporate underscore relations at elderhelpofsandiego.org, and we'd be happy, happy to answer any questions that you might have. Um, and then our website, elderhelpofsandiego.org, has a lot of good information, and we'll also have the um, library of past webinars uh, posted on there if you are interested. So thank you so much for joining us, and thank, thank you, you again. Thank, thank you for having me. me. Have a good day.